Good afternoon. Today we are in Wuyishan City, Fujian Province, China, and we are highlighting a very special kind of tea that is called Wuyi Rock Tea. Now, rock tea is a form of oolong tea that is very special because there is a very important process of baking the tea. Now, today we are going to look at five different kinds of tea. Why are we choosing these five kinds of tea? They are all a very specific kind of rock tea that is called da hong pao. In English, we would translate that to big red rope. Now, there was some kind of debate amongst different tea tasters and tea connoisseurs and laymen alike because some people would say, oh, this tea is a very light tea or this tea was baked very dark. And so this company that we are visiting today, which is called Wu Yi Star, they decided that they would use their signature type of big red robe tea to make sure that we can very proper, properly and accurately define the different stages of light to dark. So that is what we are going to focus on today, starting with light, going darker, 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 to a very traditional dark big red robe, and then a very special dark big red robe that is also aged. We will talk about these individually as we move on. Okay, so let's taste these teas. Starting with tea number one, this is called Qin Ya Da Hong Pao. Let's pour, let's pour it first. And of course I want to smell it and see what the aroma is like from the cup. Now, of course this is on the light end of the spectrum, so what I'm expecting to find is a kind of floral scent and a very mellow and mild taste. Let's see. It feels a little bit dry in your mouth. You can feel it maybe at the back of your mouth, the back of your tongue. That is uh, showing us that it is a light tea. Wow, something you can really notice about this one is the smell. You almost notice the smell of the tea before you even taste it. Please never mind the noise that I'm making. In this area of China, we like to slurp. Slurp our tea. Why do we do this? Well, we want to add a little bit of oxygen to the liqueur that we are drinking. This brings out the different kind of flavors. Wow, a great tea on the light side. Uh, I should be honest that when I'm drinking Da Hong Pao, I like to taste the dark flavors. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, moving on to tea number two. This one is called Chun Xiang. And this one should be a little bit darker. So what I am going to be looking for is to see which parts of my mouth are going to be activated by this tea. Since we're moving from light, I expect that I'll still taste it in the back of my mouth, but maybe moving forward on my tongue to the parts of my tongue that can taste more of the sweet flavors that are brought out in a more highly baked tea. This is exactly what I find. Where the first tea we drank was almost completely concentrated at the back of my mouth, almost all the way to my throat, what I taste now is kind of the middle back part of my tongue. Uh, and then, of course, this one feels like you just brushed your teeth, you just washed your mouth. It starts at the beginning of the, of the mouth and then almost in front of your teeth, you taste a kind of sweet, almost like you just ate a piece of fruit, like you had a piece of fruit on your teeth. Let's try it again. Ah, that's right. Starts in the back, ends in the front, right on the lips. Ah. 
Let's move on. This next T is called Hongyun, and this is the most balanced of the teas that we're going to drink today. So what I expect to find here is a tea that everybody would love. It won't taste too light, but it also won't taste too dark. Let's check it out. In my opinion, this tea tastes a little bit like, like how you would expect a forest to taste. These two were a little bit more on the sweeter side. This tea starts to taste a little bit more woody. Almost like it just rained in the forest and you can smell the bark on the trees. You can smell the earth that is still moist with the rain. And I also noticed that this tea activates the full range of my mouth. It activates the back of my tongue and is kind of, feels kind of dry, but then also I can feel it all the way to in front of my teeth, to the front of my teeth. Now, I must admit that I'm really excited about this next tea because this is a very special kind of tea called Chunxiang. And this tea is special because it has been aged for eight years. So what that means is that it is kept in a cool and dry place for eight years being that most kinds of da hong piao, da, da hong pao start with a floral and fruity kind of smell, this tea I expect to take on even more aspects of the forest, the woody flavors. Let's try it. Wow. You know, utilizing the flavors that we have in Western culture, or we're more used to in Western countries, I would say that this almost tastes like a very strong dark chocolate. I'd put it at about 85%. If I were, I'm a chocolate eater, so I would say this is like a dark chocolate. And the picture that I get in my mind is not only in a forest like this one, but this is you've gone deeper in the forest and you've found a log cabin out in the middle of the hills on a winter day. So it's cold and snowy outside and you come in inside and there's a fireplace. You want something to keep you warm and it's just like drinking like a dark chocolate with even a little bit of a kind of um, full-mouthed, sour kind of flavor. I say sour, but I don't mean that in a bad way at all. It's a very full-bodied tea. Ah, after we finish this video, I can promise you I'm coming back to this one. Let's go on to our last tea tonight which is called Ba San. And this tea is one of the very special teas that you can find at Wu Yi Star Tea Factory because this is the original, the classic. It was created in 1990. And this is a very dark, meaning a very highly excuse me, very highly roasted tea, a fully baked tea. So I expect this tea to be almost 
the complete opposite end of the spectrum as the first T that we focused on this evening. Wow. This one, as you're drinking it, you get the dark log cabin type flavor, but it's, I find it to be more sweet. You smell it as you're drinking it. It's, it's not only concentrated in your mouth, it also comes up into your nose. Wow. And where I said that this one has a full-bodied uh, sourish flavor, this one, the sour is replaced more by a fruity, floral kind of smell, as if you could taste a log cabin full of flowers. So finally, what I think we could all benefit from are a few tips on how to purchase a rock tea, a Da Hong Pao tea. I would like to relate this whole flight of tea to let's start with wine and then let's continue to maybe like coffee. So let me ask you, if you're drinking a wine, would you like a sweet wine or would you like a more dry wine? If you like sweet wine, I would say that you might want to focus on this side of the spectrum. They're more light, they're more fragrant, they're more sweet. If you like a dry wine, then I would go to this side of the spectrum because these are more full-bodied, more robust, um, and even these could be probably very acceptable for those who like to drink coffee without sugar or creamer. So if you like to drink your coffee black, I highly re recommend these two. Um, if you like to add milk and sugar, maybe some creamer to your tea, I would focus on this side of the spectrum. Of course, maybe you would say, oh, well, I don't really drink wine, or I don't know which wines I really prefer, or I don't really like to drink coffee. Right here, we have a very perfect middle of the road Da Hong Pao. So if you don't have any kind of reference, then it's always safe to start in the middle. Then if you want to go darker, more cooked, more baked flavors, you could go this way. And if you started in the middle and you wanted to try more fragrant flavors, then you could go this way. That is what I would say. Of course, I like them all, but I have grown to love Wu Rock Tea. Thank you for joining us. Please, you are welcome to come to Wu Yi Star Tea Factory anytime you want. I don't work here, but I love coming here when I have free time. Thank you. Have a nice evening.